Okay, the next update we're going to talk about is Saucony's go-to neutral shoe, uh, the Saucony Ride. They've updated from the 7 to the Saucony Ride 8, and we're going to talk about some of the difference with the Shoe Greg Sheets. Does that mean this shoe has been out eight years? I don't know. Has it been out eight I years? I think so. Or at least the eighth iteration <laughs> of the shoe. So Greg Sheets, uh, tell us in a nutshell what, what the difference is between the 8 and the 7. My favorite difference uh, is potentially a little more balance uh, to the curvature or the shape of the, the midsole wrapping. Uh, meaning in that the back of the in shoe. the back of the okay. shoe. Um, we are always aware of uh, shoes that have uh, potential crash pad, which is a good thing to uh, enhance the transition. But sometimes the crash pads uh, don't allow the foot to kind of get back into its more natural position and the shoe stays more lateral. And by the um, crash pad, you mean that the is correct. lateral portion of the that shoe? That is correct. And so there's okay. been a slight, very slight alteration or change in the actual configuration of this blue material compared to to the green material yeah. um, and if you look Kevin uh, at this angle right here there's sure. a little more of a V right here sure. uh, and just a little more of a accentuated crash pad where on the current one it's a it's a little more balanced so it might be so a more balanced correct the back. Okay. right so the advantages or the the result of that, uh, again, the person's foot may stay even or parallel to the surface a little longer without that tendency for the heel to break down on the, on the outside. Right. That's my favorite update. Otherwise, um, the shoe is uh, moving, like a lot of companies, into a little more of an engineered um, uh, appearance of the mesh uh, fabrication. Uh, compared to the traditional uh, mesh that uh, with, people with overlays. are, yes, gotcha. that people are used to seeing. So most companies are transitioning into a softer, smoother, uh, sock-like, uh, engineered mesh type, including, type fabrication, including this, including this model. Yeah, where they just change the the uh, the fabrication of the upper and try to reduce the. Um, the impact of the overlays, as you mentioned, to, to be less abrasive on the top of a person's foot. Gotcha. Now, again, this shoe uh, just recently updated. Um, and again, most um, criticisms uh, by a customer is going to be the change from one version to the next. They make too drastic of a change. So again, I'm going to ask you the same question about this shoe. Is the new model going to alienate any of the old wearers of the uh, Ride 7? Our early research indicates no. Okay. And I hope that... Um, Done in your lab here at Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope that as we, um, people tune in to our show, and each time we do a review, I hope that I will be able to consistently say, uh, if you like the last version, you'll love the new one. If we have to get to that, the companies are not going to be happy if we have to tell people. If we have to tell people, do not get the next model. That's going to be a bad day. Uh, yeah, but it may be uh, an informative day. <laughs> Being honest is important. That's right. Okay. Well, that's the uh, update to the Saucony Ride 8, and we hope you like the new update.